Hello, good folks. Wade Rush with Rush Lane Poultry and Game Birds. I know it's been a long time, but we got out here on a beautiful pre-fall mid-September afternoon. The weather's holding nice, so uh, we're going to get out here and try to help. I've gotten, uh, make a long story short, I've had hundreds and hundreds of questions coming in about how I wire up my incubators. So we're calling this one Homemade Incubator Wiring Made Simple. So stay tuned. Hello world, Wade Rush, Rush Lane Poultry and Game Birds. Me, Long John Silver. Although he's not very long and he's not very John. He's just an old English game by him, Silver Duckwing. Now that he's interrupted my production. All right, folks, for, for what I'm demoing, what I'm gonna do today, I love using the uh, an old um, extension cord. This is from the dollar store right here, a buck right here from the Big Lots or from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this is all you need for all your primary wiring for everything that we need to do with the box that we're going to use this in. Now, I'm assuming we're going to be using um, light bulbs as our heat source. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I like using two. Uh, you can get by with one, especially if the box is kind of small. But I always like using two because I like having one as a backup in case that what I call the trigger bulb that is next to our modified water heater thermostat, which is something we'll cover in a few minutes. And... Uh, and then other than that, fan's got, got a new uh, computer fan. It's a 50 millimeter computer fan here. That'll work in just about any box that, uh, that you want to build your incubator into. You'll need an AC to DC inverter. Thank you, Mr. Rue, to, uh, to drive your fan. And that is one of the primary reasons why I like using this um, extension cord like this because we're going to cut it right here, re-splice it, and then I use this to plug in all of my accessories, even if it's including a, uh, a modified turner. There's three slots in here where this can be plugged in to drive your fan and uh, so on and so forth. All right, guys, let's get to it. Okay, guys, for today's demo, we're just going to use a single socket. You see, I like these that I can insert. As you just saw in the illustration right before this segment here, I can, uh, we cut an inch, a one inch or inch, it's an inch and eighth hole, and these fit in it perfect. It fits in there in the hole perfect, and we silicone them in there, and, uh, and it's just a lot neater, and I don't have as much room taken up in the box as if I'm using the whole socket like this right here that you get for a buck and a quarter from uh, from Lowe's. But guys, please understand that these sockets like this right here will work just fine. Same principle, just here's where you fasten your wires. Here the wires are exposed. Here you have to hook the wires to the back of your box. I think most folks understand that. That's why I like the simplicity of these sockets like this. To wire in a thermostat, it doesn't really matter which way you wire these up, but for today's purposes, we're going to go to this side for your uh, for the line. Now, let me see. I had some. Uh, there they are. They kind of just kind of help hold my wires together here. That's what I I use wire nuts to hold everything together, guys. Okay. Now, the basic wiring principle. You know, this plugs into the wall. Now we've got our. Uh, extension cord cut, twisted back on like this so we can use these plugs here. Now, one side of your heat source is now hooked to whichever side you choose of your power source. Now, here's where the magic comes in. On your thermostat, you just need to interrupt one side going to this, to this lamp. So, we're going to get, you'll need another piece of wire like such 
and one side of your wire like this will go to one side of your thermostat. Your other little piece of wire to join up your union will go here and wire right back there. That will power up your lamp, your heat source, and when the when the uh, the thermostat interrupts the power, it turns the power off to the heat source. And whenever the fan, whenever you're ready to, let me just tie this together here so it will make it a little easier for you guys to see this. That, I'll keep them separated like this, so you can pause the video and actually see how the wire is hooked up to the units here. That is basically how a thermostat is wired up, right there. That's how you wire up your thermostat. All right, to introduce your fan into the box, what you're going to need, you get some, just get a little bit of power here. This one is the 12 volt, isn't it, Rachel? Yeah, that's the output, that's 12 volt in, input, 120 volt AC output, 12 volt DC. Now the nine volt will work, nine to 12, sometimes nine to, to uh, 13 volts will work. The nine volt, I'll see if I can, uh, for demo purposes, we'll start out with the nine volt here and I'll show you how fast the fan turns. When you're wiring up your fan, all you have to do, you don't really have to know match colors. You may get lucky the first time and I did. You just touch it and you see my hands are hunting. It's not going to shock you. This is 12 volts DC. You're not going to get shocked working with this, working with the uh, with the uh, with the wire coming out of the inverter. You see how slow that fan's turning on to nine volt. So you can't even hear it. It's totally silent. All right. Now let's try. Let's try the 12 volt. Let's see if I get lucky the first time again. Nope. If it doesn't work that way, just turn the wires around and touch it the other way. It was trying to move. There it goes. Rachel, can you grab that? You can hear that one. See, it's just running more on high. Okay. And then when the project is done and you've got it mounted in your box, then all you have to do is take this and plug it right here into your extension cord and it's powered up. If you're gonna wire in two, if you're gonna wire in two bulbs, like I usually do most of mine, then all you have to do guys Just match black to black like this and white to white together just like this that's all you have to do and same principle these you can uh, these two together will go into the thermostat and then the wire running out to the other side of your power source just like that all right guys I hope that I kept that uh, starting to get warm. I hope that we kept that simple enough so that you can understand how to wire it up. But uh, we'll try to get back with another one as soon as we can, folks. Wade Rush, Rush Lane Poultry, Central South Carolina. Hope you're enjoying this beautiful weather. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Notice that the uh, water heater therm thermostat, the modified water heater thermostat, how close it is to that trigger bulb right there, guys. Uh, also notice that the fan is in a position where it's blowing over that trigger bulb right onto the thermostat. We'll make it cycle a lot faster. Notice in this box that the GQF wafer thermostat is in here. It, it's not as critical where it is mounted. It doesn't have to be mounted near the bulbs. As long as it is out of the way and in a good position in the box, it's going to work best just like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, don't some mealworms. 
in here with the coaches. Goodness. <laughs> Let the ladies go. <laughs> <laughs> 